Well, I wasn't planning to read tonight, but Phil Hall gives homework, so. <laughs> he said that uh, we should read one of the poems that we did from his workshop. This was originally three poems combined into one rather strange for me anyway poem. It's called Snap Lock Launch. One, snap. Tongue slides slow. Mouth sealing tastes mellow, dark memory. Imagine cinnamon, clove. Cookie men conjure ginger, dancing sensuous yum. Two, lock. Spittlebug memories stain every leaf. Each tomato taste earwigs. Every cut calyx, every severed stem, snap lock in ready. Trees pinch rain, veins of leaf, rot, rust, reek. Three, launch. Flailed broken bark, chrysalis chaos, crisis. Trap jaw ant hinges, mandible open, easy wide, 130 microsec, catapult, illicit, bricked, missile. My second poem was originally published in Chromatic Beliefs, published by Tree Press, Fafor Press, 2011. It's called Finding Cobalt Blue 3. Hydropoles are taller in Quebec. You notice how they jostle for sky. With signs that advertise gas, motels, yellow arches. You search, but there's no blue in the day. You've lost your chromatic belief. Want a sign that this is aberration, that somewhere there is still a witness for blue. It's not a placard you want, but manifestation, a shard of navy terracotta pot. Is this the portent? You see intrusions, recycle bin, discarded cigarette packs in Robert Players or McDonald's. But no one expects a cobalt blue three on one of those tall Quebec poles. Mushrooms embedded in tree trunks turn their caps away without answers. Is there witness in the lap of lake, in the crisp crack of oak leaves underfoot? Does a prophet hide in the weathered wood? or in trees wrapped in chicken wire to keep their spirits in. Frayed bungee ties down compost bin, scraps safe from night visitors. When they come, will they wear blue? My last poem is short, it's called Newsflash. I will die on Sunday in April, somewhere on the highway, the one that runs through Ottawa on its way to the sea. There will be the scream of twisted metal and brakes. Glasses will, glass will shatter, dogs will howl, crows will gather like black-winged paparazzi. Their murderous multitudes hover and watch for an overlooked morsel of dead flesh and unpicked bone. It will be Ottawa on Sunday in April, May in Newfoundland. <laughs>